announcement on one matter. So let me deal with that one and then I'll come to our substantive matter. And that pronouncement is a, a, a reaction from government to the um, recently published economic ratings upgrade by Standard & Poor's. I'm sure you would have noticed that Standard & Poor's has upgraded our sovereign ratings from B minus to B. And it was published over the weekend. Government welcomes that upgrade. As we do with many of these publications, we consider it as feedback. But because it is a matter that we have also been speaking about in times past, we consider it as an affirmation of our submission that the economy of Ghana and its fundamentals are gradually getting better. As you know, sovereign credit ratings are a key evaluation principle for a country's economic and political environment. And it gives investors an insight into the level of risk or potential associated with any country. And there are a number of agencies that do these ratings, Fitch, Standard & Poor's, Moody's. Now, SMP has been rating Ghana since 2003. And at the time, Ghana achieved a B plus with a stable outlook. And we maintained this rating until December 2008, when the stable outlook was revised downward to a negative position. We were finally downgraded to B with a stable outlook in September 2010. That's exactly 10 years ago. From there, as I'm sure you recall, the fortunes of the country took a downward spiral in terms of outlook until a further downgrade to B minus stable in October 2014. This therefore represents the first time in a decade that we've been upgraded um, to B. We are of the view that government will continue the exercise of a strong monetary policy environment and the exercise to continuously improve on the financial sector of our country. Government will also continue efforts to further improve the fiscal position by improving our revenues, disciplining ourselves on expenditure and ensuring that our deficit does not get out.